what is up everybody today we are exactly two weeks out i'm excited we are two weeks out from my meet my first ever official meet um yes i am excited i am excited i'm excited okay so today we have bench and deadlifts and i believe my bench today is 105 kilo which is two and a half kilos under my current pr it should move at about a seven in my opinion um and then i have i believe 160 kilo deadlift which is like five kilo under my pr which should also move at like a seven or like a six hopefully um so we will we'll see how those move at least but most importantly, um, most importantly, I need them to just move well. It doesn't really matter if they move at a six, seven, or an eight, as long as they move. Um, so yesterday, I can talk a little bit. I had squats. Um, I had my competition squat yesterday, and I had I did one. Oh, I did one. Forty-five kilos which is 330, I believe, in pounds, um, and, or 320, and it moved really well, it moved to like a seven and a half, and next week I am taking 152 and a half or 155, and my coach thinks I'm probably gonna, if I take 152 and a half, I probably hit 155 in my meat, which I think is bullshit, to be honest, but I think I have way more than that, I think I'm way stronger than that. Um, but he's like, he'd rather me go nine for nine than leave and like leave five kilos in the tank than like fail, which I get, but I don't know if I agree with, but I get, um, um, so it really just depends on how everything moves next week because those are my, that's my final week before comp, obviously, but I'm hoping my 152 and a half next week, if I take that moves like really easy, moves it like an eight and a half, nine. And I have like a solid 15 kilos in me, like 12 and a half kilos in me. And he lets me go for a good little number, at least like 10 kilo more. Because I really want, um, like optimally, I'd like to hit 175 in comp. But I know it's probably not going to happen. That'd be 385 pounds. That's like ridiculous, considering that'd be a another 60 pound PR pretty much on what I just PR'd. So that's, that's kind of crazy. I don't think that's going to happen. But if 152.5, which will be a 5 kilo PR, moves how I want it to, which or how it should move at like a 9 or like an 8.5, then I think 160 is really doable in comp, maybe even 165, depending. And that'd be nice. That'd be a red-blue uh, red blue collar. So I will happily take that. 385 is not looking very likely, which I didn't think it was, but... I think squat was my most, like, high-end range of a number that I wanted to get. Considering I failed 315 in my mock meet three months ago, the fact that I wanted 385 is insane. That'd be another 70 pounds in three months. Um, I think I successfully put on probably about 50 to 60 pounds in three months of my squat, which is crazy because my squat was, like, my worst lift by far. Now it's probably not my worst lift. It's definitely not my best, but I think my deadlift's now my officially worst lift. Assuming I can hit, like today I have, what whatever, 105 kilo. I think it's like it's like 235 or something. It's like 230 bench today. Um, my 230 should move at like an 8. Hopefully next week I take like 112 and a half, I think, which is like 245 or something. And I'm hoping that moves also at like an 8 and a half, 9. I'm hoping today moves at a seven. If that moves at like a nine, I want to hit like two, at least two sixty-five in comp. My goal again, ultimate goal would be two seventy-five, which is two reds and a collar, which is my ultimate goal. I don't know if it's gonna happen. These are all like the goals I set once I finished my mock meet. I was like, all right, these are the numbers I want for my meet in three months. And I was like, they're ridiculous numbers, and they're most likely not gonna happen. But I need a goal, so these are my goals. I don't care if I don't hit them. I'm not thinking I'm going to hit them, but these are my goals. So my goals are 385 squat, which is three reds and a collar, 275 bench, which is two reds and a collar, and 455 deadlift, which I don't know. That isn't calm, but I want a 455. Um, we'll see. 
it was pretty much this league. I was thinking, I was like, I want three reds and I want three plates and a thirty-five on each side for pounds. I want two plates and a twenty-five, and I want four plates and a twenty-five for dead. So that's how I was doing the numbers originally. Like, obviously, again, crazy goals, not expecting to hit them. It'd be really nice to hit them, but I'm not expecting to hit them. Um, it all depends today how everything moves too, but it's really all about next week. Next week's the week that matters. I'm back in my gym next week. It's the week I start school, and then I'm one week out. Right now I'm two weeks out. I'm one week out next week. So everything matters is what I hit next week. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. I am excited. I'm also, like, kind of nervous, but, like, I'm excited. Today everything should move really well. I'm finally back on good benches. My last bench session was really bad. Um, it was in my other gym. I filmed it, but it, it was just terrible. So it's the worst bench session I've had probably in, like, a year. So... No, that's not true. But it's the worst bench I've had since I've had a coach, which is really bad. Um, so I'm hoping my bench moves really well today. It should. I'm on a better bench. I can have my form again. I get a one by one, and I think I have one by five, and then I have three by five back downs. I believe that's what I have today. Deadlift, I have one by one, and then I think I have a three by four. I think. I think that's how my deadlifts work today, at least. Um, then I have some RD. I have dips, RDLs. Um, something else for legs, maybe. I have dips, RDLs, push downs, but I think I have something in between that. Oh, and belt squat, I think. Yeah. Wait, do I? I have belt squat. No, I don't. Wait. No, I belt squat on my SPD day. What do I have? Oh my god. I have dips, and then I have RDLs, and then I have something, and then I have pushdowns. What is that something? I don't think I have lying leg curl today. I think I have that when I have my singlet on, so that's SBD. What do I have today? Um, I don't know. I, I cannot remember. You guys will see when I'm in the gym. I cannot remember. I don't know why. Either way, this is going to be a good day. Everything's going to move. And I'm excited. Um, in the next few videos, I'll probably film my SBD day this week. And then next week, my schedule is all messed up. So I don't know how I'm going to do next week. Because I'll be one week out and I'll be starting school. So I'm probably going to be super busy. I also don't really want to show my number. Like, not that I really care. But because I'm not, like, qualifying and not, like, actually competing against, like, for a win or anything. Like, I know I'm not going to win my comp no matter what. I'm probably not going to place top, like, five in my class. Because apparently we have a 10-person class, which is kind of massive. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to be really busy. I'm not going to commit to anything. But hopefully I film a bunch. And, yeah, I don't know. I'm just yapping. Let's get in the gym. I think it's the loudest fuck in here. But this is the last one I want. 97 kg. So the last one up. Last one up. Yeah, uh, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Just need to move it on eight. Come on. Three, two, one. Ew. I touched that so high on my chest, that was terrible. I think it wasn't hard. Just a really, really, really bad touch. Bad touch. I touched super high on my chest, so...
It was like an eight and a half instead of it seeming probably like an eight. Just because of episode sort of. Oh, man, I messed it up. Nothing I can do about it now. So I got a one by five. Hopefully at seven. I think what I did last week as well. Game seven and a half. Hopefully these touches are better. Three, two, one. God, bro, I hate reps. I do reps, I just die. Right. Three by five here. Too much. I was literally touching it up, but it's like... This is the last one. I'm gonna put more chalk on. This over here. You guys can't see me, but this is my last warm up. Should move pretty good. And then I believe we're taking 160. Bench was okay. Just disappointed with the upset touch. I'll talk about it more in the car. Let's make this move. We got baby powder on, the chalk on, this is the top set, let's go.
Move it through by four. With one thirty. Two more. I felt okay. I set. When I reset, it felt good, so make sure to keep that positioning the whole time. I'll be fine. Okay, I have dips, RDLs, and hip thrusts. That was the new thing I added, is why I couldn't remember it. Five, top set of five. I hope so. All right, ten. Fucking kill me. Set of 10. Okay, we'll see if I fail this time. Last time I did this, I failed the second set. So we will see.
Oh my god. RDLs. 3 by 8 RDLs. Miserable. Two more. Two more. One more. I said. Five hip thrusts. I literally just destroyed my leg. I don't think you can see it. I just pinched the shit out of myself on the number rack. But three sets of hip thrusts. So these are always nice and fun. Two more. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it's fucking bad. Like, you ripped my skin off. Fucking hurts. I was speaking. I did from putting the fucking dumbbell back. My dumbass. But the hip thrust is not even last time. That's why it was so hard to get up. Um, make sure the pad's even this time. That should be better. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, almost that. Oh, I hate him. That's it. Just push downs. All right, this will be the last thing I do in this gym for three months. So let's let's get it. Three more. Three more. I am exhausted, but the last thing I'm doing in this gym for a while, so make it good. Two more. Woo. Two more. more. Alright, last set. I'm dying right now. I'm not going to get 12. I, I'll try. Oh, come on. 
Fuck the pause. Oh, sure. I guess I'll pose. All right, I'm not taking my shirt off, but I will pose. Good enough. I don't really know how to feel about that workout, to be honest. Um, so let's talk. Um, okay. First off, it wasn't like a bad workout. So like, this is why I don't know how to feel. Everything was solid. It's just, I don't know. Maybe I have unrealistic standards, but I feel like it's week two, right? Next week is my week three, and then next week I have a comp. So I really don't have, I don't have like a deload or anything before a comp, which I thought I would. I really don't. I kind of just hit my PRs and go right into comp, which I think is kind of crazy, but it makes sense when my coach explained it. It's just, I feel like it's awkward. And I'm concerned because my lifts today felt heavier than they did when I PR'd them two weeks ago. And they are lighter weights. Like very hardly lighter weights, but today is lighter weights. So... In my opinion, if I'm recovered after two weeks, all right, last week is pretty much a deload. This week's heavy again. I should be fully recovered. They should feel lighter than they did two weeks ago. Or they don't. So I'm kind of scared because next week I push even harder than I did this week. All PRs. Everything's a PR next week. And then I go right into comp. So I'm like very scared that I'm just not going to be recovered for comp, I guess. Mm -hmm. And that my lifts are going to be bad. But I don't think that's actually going to happen. I'm just, like, scared. So, I don't know. I'm just, like, a little disappointed today. Because I feel like my bench honestly shouldn't have been hard. It's just my touch was awful. It was really high on my chest. It was just a bad touch. So, it made it way harder than it was. And my deadlift today honestly felt good. But it did feel heavier than it did last week. So, it felt good. But I think it was a harder rep than it was last week. Or, sorry, two weeks ago. Which isn't a good thing. Um... Accessories went really well today. It just like destroys my lower back, which is the point where it's supposed to build my posterior. So we are doing that, but destroys my lower back. Hip thrust after RDLs, after deadlifts is kind of insane. But it definitely is going to blow up my posterior. So I have uh, no excuses if I don't get a fucking bigger back. Because holy shit. I don't even know if pump was good. Didn't look. Don't really care, to be honest. Just posed because why not? Yeah, I'm excited. Next time you guys see me, I'll be back in Orlando, back in my home gym. Oh, sorry, my school gym, which is my actual home gym because it's my favorite gym. And I'll be back in school. I'm driving up tomorrow. I probably will film Tuesday, like I said, my SPD day, which will be back on my comp rack, comp bar, comp plates, comp bench, comp everything. So I can't wait to be back. Hopefully my fatigue drops off a little bit more. And next week I feel 100%. And going to the meet, I feel even better. But only time will tell at this point. I'm exactly two weeks out. So we're getting close. I'll see you guys in the next one.